ATSL filters. ATSL filters prevent noise interference between your telephone wiring and your modem. You must connect an ATSL filter to every telephone and telephone device in your home slash office that uses the same telephone line as your ADSL modem. If you fail to install ADSL filter on your every telephone and telephone device in your home, you may experience noise from the ADSL connection while you are talking on the telephone or your modem may not work. Click next to continue. Oh, those things been connected. Connecting filter to the wall socket. Oh, it's been gone. <laughs> Connecting filter to the wall socket. Securely connect the line port to the wall socket. Connecting the router to the filter. Securely insert one end and supplied phone cable into the filter. Port mark ADSL or modem and the other device of the cable to ADSL port on the router. Warning. Incorrectly connecting your router to the phone socket of the filter blocks the ADSL signal and prevent the router from connecting the internet. When you are ready to continue, click next. Okay, next. The modem has been done. Oh, but it doesn't have this antenna. It's a different modem. Oh. Go ahead and look. Connecting your phone to the ADSL filter. Who doesn't have that wireless Wi Fi antenna? Does it? Oh, let's see if this works. If it doesn't work, I'll uninstall it. Because this one has a uh, antenna. Connecting your phone to the phone socket on uh, ADSL filter. Use any ADSL filter for any phone, fax machine, or any other phone device you connect to the phone line that provides ADSL service. Without an ADSL filter, you will hear noise noises caused by the ADSL signal. When you are ready to continue, click next. So ADSL connect to oh it's kind of like my old modem. JTEC with that antenna. Phone oh yeah next. What? But this says Netgear. What modem is that? I don't get it. Connecting to your is what? That's not Netgear. Connecting to your PC to the router. What? This is Optus. I might as well try it. Connecting to your PC to your router. View the label on the bottom of the router. It identifies user data such as the port number, uh, uh, LED, legends, and default login information. Alright. But I don't know the. Oh. Locate the yellow Netgear Ethernet cable. That's number one. Number two. Connect one end to the Ethernet cable to any yellow Ethernet port, such as port 4, which is the leftmost Ethernet port. 3. Connect to the other end of the Ethernet cable to the Ethernet port on your PC. So, oh yeah, this thing done. That's my laptop. Oh, better turn it on.
Oh, be back. Oh, this computer is number two on Optus Netgear. But that modem is not Netgear, it's Sigma. I can't pronounce it. Anyway, next. It's connected, let's see. Power on the router. Plug the router power adapter into the power outlet. Insert the power cord into the power port on the left side of the router and push the power button. Yep, done. Power's on. Next. Verifying router connection. The power Ethernet wireless e internet and DSL lights will be lit. Wait for the DSL light to turn green. It will be it will be a slow green when a connection is made which should take less than a minute. LAN port number four lights should be lit or weather port number you will use to connect your PC. If everything looks correct, click next. If the status light indicates a problem, click troubleshooting for help with verifying the router connection. Let's see. Verifying router connection. Next. Activating your local network. Progressing. Please wait. This will take a few minutes. Zero to a hundred percent. So it's pro uh, progressing. Progress. Oh. Record your st static IP setting. We have detected that your computer is using static fix IP setting. You will use this setting to configure the router. Important. Be sure the print on be be sure to print this screen or write down the setting IP address. 192.168.0.1 IP uh, subnet mask 255.255.255.0 gateway IP they're all the same DNS name server DNS address primary DNS secondary DNS nothing the router requires the computer to set for DHCP instead of static IP okay the wizard will automatically configure your computer for DHCP. Click next to replace the static IP setting on this computer with DHCP setting or click quit to exit this application. But it's a different mode on it. I'll try it. It doesn't work the one. Because that's that's uh, Optus but it's not Netgear. The other one's Netgear. But that's coaxial. Progress. Please wait while the wizard is cha changing the setting. Please wait while the wizard is changing the setup, the settings. Zero to hundred, all done, but still progress. It's all it's loaded, but it's pro, um, still process.
progress. Don't know. Oh, there you go. No cable or router detected. During the network activation progress, the wizard has not able to detect the router. You may... You must make sure that the router is plugged and powered up. If, there, if you have any more than one network card in your computer, you must remove or disable the device that is not connected to the router. The yellow... Uh, in, Ethernet cable must be completely inserted into the port on the both computer and the router. Go to the troubleshooting section to see how to check this item. You can go to the setup manual by clicking on the manual button. Ah, because it's a different brand, that's why. This is a Netgear brand. Oh. Let me put this back because the Netgear router is connected to Coaxial plus the, mo uh, the phone. So let's try this one a bit. Yes. So that's connected to the um, coaxial, which is Optus Netgear. Uh, we test. Progress 0 to 100%. Please wait while the wizard is ch uh, changing the settings. Oh, this loads quicker. Let's see what happens here. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It's a different model.
Oh. Record, record your static IP setting. We have detected that your computer is using static fix IP setting. You will use this setting to configure the router. Okay. Oh, here it is. Um. <coughs> <coughs> We have detected that your computer is using static fixed IP settings. You will use this setting to configure the router. Important. We use. Oh, important. Be sure to print this screen or write down this setting. Internet IP. Uh, internet IP address. IP address. Uh, 192.168.0.15. Mm. IP subnet mask. 255.255.255.0 Gateway IP address 192.168.0.1 Domain name server DNS address Primary DNS 198.142.159.162.164 Secondary DNS 198.142.152 Good afternoon. Oh, sort of little robot. Oh. Secondary DNS 198.142.152.165. The router required the computer to set up the DHCP instead of static IP. This wizard will automatically.